Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, this is the third part of my tutorial series, second part of the area protection plugin, and we are, we just left off last episode, uh, getting cut off, actually, um, <clears throat> because we lit, we uh, got the 15 minute limit, I'll fix that later when I bother, so I can upload longer, but for now, that's, uh, it's, it's, I guess it's long enough anyways. So, uh, first thing we're going to continue off of is we... We, when we create the new area later in the constructors, we're going to set the L1 and the L2 of the area. Now the next thing we need to do is um, probably, now we're going to, since we have the uh, locations now, we're going to generate the cube. So we're going to say generate cube. And then we're going to use L, uh, this dot L1 and this dot L2. <coughs> like so and I think that's all we need to provide it actually let's see what's wrong over here oh yeah why am I doing that well, okay so the generating the cube this will return the, the blocks and then we're gonna say locations dot or does it already do that uh, no, just returns it. So we're gonna do locations dot add all. And then surround this in brackets. There we go. So now we have that done. I'll just clean this up. Um we also want to set uh the owners, I guess. And then the last parameter, the name. And the owners, which will be, um, owners, and then import that, and then this dot owners. <clears throat> Actually, let's make the, the owners an array list. Owners equals new. List player. There we go. And then add the constructors. And then we're gonna say this dot owners dot add all array list player owners like that, like so. And then also uh, we're gonna copy this. And actually, we're not. We don't need a second one. Just without the owners, I guess. Right? And then... <clears throat> uh, pretty much now, if we made the area, it will just uh, make an area. It will set the name of the area. It will set the owners. It will set the locations. And it will generate the cubes and add them to the locations here. Uh, which is all good right now, but we need a, we need a way of uh, managing all the different areas and checking through them. So in the main force field class, we're going to create a well, right above it actually, we're going to create a uh, an array list, array list, and it's going to be an array list of arenas. Uh, arenas equals new array list arenas. Whoops, empty constructors. And this is going to be public. What's wrong with this? Okay, well. Oh, right, hold on. <coughs> I placed it way too much above. Derp. There we go. Import everything you need. Uh, I think we're going to have to do this manually. Oh, it's area. Getting it confused here, sorry. And then it's this one, our own one that we're going to import. Right, so now we have a way to store all the arenas. And then when we create a new arena, we're going to say... Um, we're going to say... Actually, we don't need to do that here, so... This is just creating the arena. Or area, area. Okay, I'm getting confused with the two since uh, we're using them 
for almost the same purpose, I guess. Or yeah, I'm also making a plugin with our arenas. Um, so when we have when you have the area, uh, we've set it up. So now what we need is a command. Um, actually, no, we need a listener. So folder, and then listen, listeners. Wow. There we go. Listeners. And then we're gonna do a we're gonna make a class, not interface, class. And it's gonna be called selection listener. There we go. And then inside here we're gonna say implement listener. And also we're gonna import it here. And then uh, we're going to uh, make a event here, so we're going to say at event. Um, I think it's handler. I'm not sure. I, I can't remember. No, it's event listener. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty positive here. No. Oh, jeez, what was it? <laughs> Events <coughs> handler. Did I already try that? Event. Okay. Um. Hold on. And then we create a at event handler. And you're gonna have to import that. Okay. And then we're going to do public uh, void on area, area, wait, you know, block interact. Why am I putting this inside here? And then the event is going to be called player interact event. And it's, we're just going to call that event event. Open up the brackets, save, and import our stuff that we need to import. Okay, so now that we have this event, the first thing we're going to check is we're going to get the player. So player p equals event dot get player. Import player. And then we're going to check for the block. So block b equals event dot get clicked block. And actually, we're gonna. No, it's, it's fine. Okay. And make sure you use the bucket one, and then we're gonna make a check here quickly. So we're gonna say if b is not null, and then we're only gonna do the rest of the stuff then. Here we go. And then um, action a equals event dot get action. And then now we're going to check what action we're doing. So if we're left clicking, right clicking, or what. So we're going to say if a dot uh, a equals uh, action dot left block click. Then we're going to do something, and then we're going to copy this. Else if equals right. Okay, so if it's going to be left click, the first thing we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to set, we're going to set a temporary variable to something. So we're going to have two locations here, so location L1 and location L2. Import location, and then we're going to set uh, location 1 to location 1 equals um, b dot get location and we're going to copy this over and then right click will result in changing b to something there we go and then we're also going to say event dot set cancelled to true and I guess here as well well I mean the, the left click is mean meaning so you don't click anything all right now we also probably want to check one thing before that we're going to check if what we're had or what the player is holding so if p dot Get item. Get item in hand. 
um, equals material dot. Let's do an apple. Now let's do a let's do an arrow, I guess, and surround everything inside here with that. And we're we'll going to get the type here as well because it returns material. <coughs> Alright, so, so far so good. And then now we're pretty much done, except for we need to make a command. So we have uh, around about five minutes from this tutorial left, so let's quickly try and do that. So let's make a new folder called commands. Inside commands, we're going to create a new class. We're going to call it create area. And create area will, uh, um, let's see, extends command executor. No, sorry. I think it's implements. Yes. That would make more sense, actually. Yes. There we go. And we're going to have to add some unimplemented methods, which is just basically the, the command listener, sort of. And then the sender will be called sender. The command will be called command. The, the, the main thing will be called message. And the arguments will be called args. Alright, so we're going to first check if how many arguments there are. Arguments are basically they look like this. The command looks like slash test, and then these are the commands after the the main command. This is the main command. I was pointing at the screen with my finger. Derp. <laughs> okay, this is the main command, and then these are arguments. This is one, two, three, four, four arguments now. So those are the arguments. So we're going to check the length of the arguments. If args dot length equals. Let's see. We're going to first need slash uh, create area name so we're gonna name whoops name so we're gonna need two arguments um, equals two we don't need to check what the command is actually there you'll see why later but yeah so if the args length is two then we're gonna check if args args the first argument is number is one because uh, you know the index of the first one is one is zero if I like everything equals ignore ignore case and if it's going to equal um, area you know like we just tested before then we're gonna we're gonna check oh no, actually we don't need to check this, the, the second argument so now we're just gonna have to say area a equals new area and then the parameters we're gonna have to give this area will be displayed here in a second after we import it and it's going to ask for some things. So, um, whoops. Okay, the first thing we're going to have to put is the, the, the player array and two locations. And a message. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to give their area a name. So the name will be args1, which is the second argument, but the, its index value is 1. And then we're going to have to give it, let's see, where, where are we at? We're gonna have to give it uh, an array list of owners. Um, let's change that back, back actually <laughs> to uh, player. It's an array of players. Player. Like, wow. That is rather odd. Okay, why doesn't it not auto do it? Player um, owner. And then right over here we're gonna change it back as well. It's owners and owners and this owners equals equals owners. Okay, actually I'm gonna cut this video off, so this is the end of part three, or the second part of the actual uh, area protection plugin thank you for watching and just continue to the next part on the bottom right if it's out yet if it's not or if you're watching this in the wrong order just go back on the bottom left it'll be a link to part um, two so yeah thanks for watching bye, -bye.